The Lab 2 design is a 4-bit ripple carry adder and as discussed in the lecture videos, a ripple carry adder, it's made out of half adder or a half adder for the least significant bit column and then full adders for the rest of the columns. So this 4-bit uh, RCA that you're going to design, it's going to have one and a half adder and three full adders. So here's the high level um, black box diagram for the half adder and the full adder as discussed in the uh, lecture video. And here's the high level RCA black box diagram. Again, this was uh, discussed in the lecture video. Also, there's a lecture video that shows you how to do the structural modeling in Verilog, uh, system Verilog. Uh, so that you use these lower level modules uh, to make up the RCA. So I'm just going to refer you uh, to the lecture videos for the details of that. But what I wanted to talk about in this intro to the lab are the test cases uh, to use for this design. Uh, here are 10 test cases. As you can see, this is 0 plus 0, uh, then 0 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 2 plus 2, uh, 2 plus 4, 4 plus 4, 4 plus 8, 8 plus 8, and then 15 plus 15. And these test cases weren't chosen um, just by random. Uh, there's a purpose uh, to these test cases because if you look, uh, these test cases as a whole will test uh, the carry of each column. So here in this test case, uh, of course, we don't get any carry for any column because we're just adding 0 plus 0. But this these two test cases here, 0 plus 1 and 1 plus 1, it's testing the carry um, of this least significant bit, which is going to be your half adder lower level module. So, of course, with 0 plus 1, there shouldn't be a carry. Um, 1 plus 1, there should be a carry. And then this, these next two test cases is checking the carry of the second column, right? Because 0 plus 1 should not give a carry out. Uh, 1 plus 1, of course, should. And likewise, these two test cases, 2 plus 4 and 4 plus 4, is testing the carry of this third column. And then the next two test cases, uh, 4 plus 8, 8 plus 8, it's checking the carry out of this last column. And then the last case is when we have the two uh, largest 4-bit numbers at both inputs A and B to add, where uh, we should get a carry from each uh, column. So this is just um, an example of when um, you know when it wouldn't be practical to do every uh, test case because with um, two four-bit inputs where each input can have 16 possible uh, different combinations well if you wanted to test every single possible test case that you could have by adding two 4-bit uh, binary numbers, it'd be 16 times 16 combinations. So, you know, to test this completely, you'd have to do 256 test cases, which isn't practical. So, this is a way just to, um, you know, kind of think of the test cases more strategically, where um, the odds are that if the carryout is uh, working for each of your columns, then chances are your design is going to work for all these uh, test cases. And it's more practical, of course, to test, you know, a dozen or so test cases as co as composed to, you know, a couple hundred. <laughs> okay, so for your simulation, uh, make sure to use these 10 test cases. And these are the test cases to demo on your board.